Hello, I'm Dr. Mike. Hip dysplasia can be a very painful and debilitating disease. There are medical options that may help control the pain in mild to moderate dysplasia. However, in advanced or severe hip dysplasia, surgical intervention is more likely to be the treatment of choice. Today, we will meet with Dr. Anthony Cambridge, who's board certified in veterinary surgery. Dr. Cambridge will discuss the total hip replacement surgery. Total hip replacement is the substitution of the joint with artificial material to take on the role of the joint, replacing the painful parts of the joint with uh, mechanical structures. Total hip replacement has been an evolving subject in particularly in the last 10 years. We now have a choice in implant to place in dogs that have hip dysplasia. The main options that exist are cemented hip replacement versus non-cemented. Non-cemented hip replacement has become a very attractive option because we can place this in a young dog and we can now expect it to last the lifetime of that patient. Previously, we had only available cemented hip replacement, which unfortunately did not have a lifespan that matched that of our average patient unless that implant was placed in an older dog. So we typically tended to wait until a dog was maximally affected or at the last possible time to put that replacement in to allow it to be functional for the remainder of the dog's life. The indication for performing surgery over the use of medical management may be related to the severity of the hip dysplasia. Simply, some severe cases of hip dysplasia cannot be effectively managed medically. It could be related to the intended uh, use of the dog or level of activity that was sought by the owner. It, it may be un impossible to allow a dog to have a normal life uh, span, normal activity levels on medical management, but by replacing the hip, quite likely we can return that patient to, to normal. The process of total hip replacement is a surgical procedure which is performed after close evaluation, usually involving uh, strict x-ray techniques uh, using markers to determine the exact size of the bone. This is typically done on a day other than the surgery day to prepare the patient for surgery in advance. On the day of surgery, patients are admitted to the hospital. The procedure itself takes about 90 minutes to perform and the patient typically has to spend one night, occasionally two nights in the hospital in recovery. Aftercare following a total hip replacement involves restriction. I commonly recommend clients use low impact activities, meaning the avoidance of explosive behaviors, chasing the UPS man, but surprisingly these dogs are often walk out the hospital using the leg well. They're able to walk around at home, go to the bathroom, go in and out. They can actually use stairs as long as they're guided up the stairs under control. The majority of hip replacements we perform have restrictions that range from six to eight weeks, depending on the age of the patient. We will x-ray them at six weeks to determine is there any concern or problem during the healing phase, and if there's not, generally release them from their restrictions at eight weeks. The goal of total hip replacement is to perfectly restore normal anatomy to that patient. So our expectation is to have a hip that's functioning as well as a normal hip. The gold standard treatment for hip dysplasia in the dog is total hip replacement. As every case is different, I advise you to work closely with your veterinarian to determine the best options available for your pet. I'm Dr. Mike, and thanks for watching.